Hi everybody and welcome to the Independent Diners Cooking Show. I'm Mike Fucci, the Independent Diner. We're not cooking obviously, we're doing drinks tonight. So this drink here I had in Cambridge at a restaurant and it was so delicious I fell in love with it immediately. It's a lime and basil martini. So good. I know that the combination sounds a little strange but when you have it in your mouth and you drink this the flavors just come together so great you're gonna fall in love with this is just as much as I did so we're gonna get started here we have basil fresh limes halved sugar absolute citron a shaker in a glass for the top of the shaker strainer lime press tea strainer very important I'll explain that in a minute in a muddler let's get cracking so I'm gonna take my basil put it right here and I'm just gonna chop it up let's give it a rough chop doesn't need to be exactly hundred percent all the way you know no one's gonna come to your house and argue with you about it so don't worry about it get that all in there nice there we go now we're gonna put the sugar in I'm gonna put in two full teaspoons then we're going to do the limes. For this drink, it's going to make one drink. I'm using one lime. Squeeze that. Get that all the juice out of there. As much of it as you possibly can. We don't need that. And again with the other half, get all that juice right in there. Squeeze it nice and tight. Perfect. Don't need that either. Put that back over here. Now, your muddler. You should muddle this together for three to four minutes. I am gonna muddle this for a couple of minutes. Now, to muddle, you should be pressing down hard and twisting. Hard and twisting, keep on doing it. That way you get all the oils out of your basil. You get all that flavor mixed in with the sugar and the lime. It's gonna taste delicious in the glass. I can't, I can't begin to tell you how good this is. Once you make this, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, that's good and muddled up. Now, the alcohol. I'm gonna do two ounces of Absolute Citron. One, two, perfect. Now I'm gonna add the ice. The key with the ice is, for one, obviously, reasons, it keeps it cool, duh. Second is, you're trying to get a 20% loss in your ice. That way the drink has great flavor. Now I'm gonna shake and shut up now, so I'll be back in a second. Now you're gonna get a really, really, really good shake on this. You want this so cold, you can actually see that the mixer uh, on the bottom is, is frosting over, okay? That's perfect. Now, you're gonna find that you have a vacuum now because the top of the glass won't come off. Well, here's an easy solution. You can bang the side of it and it should come off, but do it lightly, you don't wanna break the glass. The other way to do it, the second way, is the way I do it, because I'm a little out there. I give it a tap right on the side of the counter. But of course, that's a great way to break the glass and ruin the drink. Take our martini glass, put our strainer on top. Get your tea strainer out. My tea strainer is a little old, and I like it. And we're going to strain all the liquid through the tea strainer, making sure that we're not getting any of the basil in the drink. You might get a couple of flakes. Don't panic. The world's not going to come to an end. The people that you're giving the drink to aren't going to cry. Believe me, once they taste it, they're going to be really, really happy with the product that you've given them. That's perfect. 
get the rest of the juice out of there put this aside get your lime slice just put it right in the drink it's just an extra garnish for this recipe and more you're gonna see me on the independent diner com or you can go to the Facebook page and like it and I'll post this recipe right on there I'll see you next time right here on the independent dining cooking show I'm Mike Fucci I'll see you later